Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for April 7th. So, we're just going to see what comes up. This is for Sunday, April 7th. This is for somebody. I don't know who. Could be you. had somebody say to me today somebody you know around here do your nails change color <laughs> yeah constantly <laughs> whenever I feel like getting the color changed so yeah they change color I laughed it's pretty funny anyhow yeah my nails change color They change with my mood, okay? You can always tell what kind of mood I'm in by my nail color. Today, we've reached simmer down, simmer down. <laughs> All right, what do we got, what do we got for today? What do we got for the seven? Somebody hasn't been reciprocating, right? The Six of Pentacles reverse. That's lack of reciprocation. Somebody may be in a one-sided relationship or not getting what they deserve, right? Not giving to a situation. But with the Five of Wands, it looks as though they may be releasing some tension, okay? They may be releasing some tension right now. Could be some self-deception here, but there could be some dece some outside deception as well. That Seven of Swords, but somebody's coming out of a painful situation, a painful relationship. But it could be finally uh, letting it go, letting go of a relationship that is no longer um, there. Uh, we definitely have some desires here <laughs> with that devil energy. There's some desires that need to be met or... You know, somebody is tempted to do something. We're going to find out here. Yeah, somebody's letting go of uh, some sort of hurt. A hurtful, a painful relationship. It's like, I think it's the, the you know, the Ten of Cups reverse. Is It's like letting it go. Letting go of the pain. Maybe somebody's ready to start a new relationship. Because I think this, this, this completion has already happened. Somebody may have been cheating themselves of happiness, right? Somebody's been cheating themselves of happiness by holding on to the pain. not putting in effort, not giving to a situation, but it's like they've been reluctant, but now it's like they maybe they're seeing things differently. They're seeing things from a new perspective. You know, somebody may have uh, been stuck to a situation that was unfulfilling, right? I mean, that's what this is. This is un this is lack of abundance, lack of emotional fulfillment, lack of wish fulfillment, lack of happiness, right? Somebody may have been letting their ego get in the way of happiness. I mean, the devil is ruled by ego. It's ruled by, you know, outside forces that aren't good for you. Unhealthy situations. Somebody may have been 
sabotaging. It's like self-sabotage here. Yeah, that's what it is. Somebody has been sabotaging their own happiness. very clear that's exactly what this is and it's like now now they're tempted it's like this person is looking at wish fulfillment it's like they're, they're looking at it we have somebody here that's looking at wish fulfillment and it's like uh, what do I do what do I do what do I do This Queen of Swords, this is a new perspective, you know, being assertive. We may have one person here that is being very assertive that, or has been assertive, and maybe this person has backed off, has backed off because this is, you know, given up. Not gonna, I'm not gonna fight, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna push, I'm not gonna pull, I'm, I'm done, I'm not gonna play this game, I'm not gonna play this game. Somebody may have taken their power back by not playing. I'm not going to play this game. I'm not. Hmm. Let's get some more cards here. Yeah, somebody's been concentrating on a loss. They've been concentrating on a loss, crying over a loss, not realizing that they have another opportunity for love. Or maybe they know they have another opportunity for love, but they've been reluctant to take that offer, right? So they haven't been putting in effort. They've been undecided. We have somebody here that's been really, really struggling with opening up, of unblocking their heart, uh, letting anybody in. We have somebody here that is really, really going through a lot of... Uh, Distress, seriously, a lot of distress. Stressing, really, really stressing over this other person who is pushing them. I think was pushing them, but I think that this pushing has stopped. Maybe now this person is deciding that it's time to make a move, it's time to move forward, it's time to face this opposition, it's time to take back control, it's time to uh, take action. I feel like this is definitely moving forward. It's like the time of, of you know, this depressive state of mind that somebody has been in crying over the loss, I think it's coming to an end because I see somebody moving forward, moving forward from avoiding, from blocking you know, new love from coming in. I feel like we have somebody here that is about to change direction, right? I mean, he takes the lead. It's like, it's time. It's time to take charge of my life. Time to master my emotions and go in another direction, move forward. So I really feel like we have somebody here that hasn't been getting what they deserve because they've been holding on to an unhappy situation where there's no emotional fulfillment and they've been blocking, you know, success and they've been blocking wish fulfillment, but now they're starting to move forward. So I think that somebody is starting to move forward after not putting in effort after because they couldn't put in effort because they were struggling to, you know, accept change, um... Definitely is trying to decide if they were making the right decision. We have somebody here that was being torn, maybe in between two relationships, you know, two choices. You know, do I stay stuck in this lack or do I move forward? So I feel like we have somebody that was in a process, a stalemate per se, and perhaps now they're, they're deciding to move forward. You know, they're, they're, they're just about ready to... Well, wake up. You know, somebody may be getting an awakening. Maybe they're going to communicate the truth. I mean, this is a wake-up call. A secret is about to be revealed. Perhaps maybe, maybe they get some sort of epiphany, right? They get some sort of a wake-up call that says, you know, this is, it's time to move on. It's time to move forward. This is moving forward.
It's time to release this pain. It's time to release this hurt. It's time to, you know, get in your car or get in whatever and change your direction, change your life, bring success. You're the king, right? You're the king of the road. It's time for you to put yourself in the driver's seat, replace that fear with faith, and go after what you want. Go after wish fulfillment. So I think we have somebody here that is looking at wish fulfillment, and they've been thinking, what am I going to do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? So I really feel as though we have somebody that is probably waking. This is a wake-up call about, you know, it's time to take charge. It's time to make a move. We have somebody here who is very self-sufficient, somebody that is enjoying the finer things in life, doing quite, quite well on their own, somebody who is very abundant. Um, happy. Perhaps this person, there's somebody here that hasn't been, uh, somebody hasn't been doing the right thing. They hadn't seen the potential. They hadn't seen the potential. You know, this is the other, this is the other pentacle to make it the ten of cup, the, the, the ten of pentacles. So somebody may have thought that they didn't have enough to offer this other person who is so abundant. This person is so good. You know, so so uh, self-sufficient, worthy, happy, grateful. But somebody lost their focus, and they 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 lost their concentration, and they lost their ability. They just it's not that they didn't they didn't have the ability to, or they didn't think they had anything to offer. They couldn't match. They may have felt like they couldn't match up to this abundant individual, whoever it is. This is somebody who doesn't have the backbone, you know? The Page of Pentacles is somebody who doesn't have the backbone to make an offer, doesn't, doesn't feel like they have enough to offer. Doesn't feel like they can do it or something like that. may have had their guard up somebody trying to protect themselves very defensive energy here i feel like we have somebody that is the message is coming a message is coming some sort of message is coming in that has been delayed this message has been delayed because this person was trying to protect themselves this person was 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 thinking that they couldn't let anybody into their lives for some reason but it's like now they've got this awakening they've got this revelation that it's time to release this is releasing the past it's time to release this pain it's time to stop blocking myself from victory and success i really feel like there's going to be some sort of communication that comes in some truthful honest communication as to why this person you know put their guard up and didn't let another person in See, this person's not letting anybody in. So we have somebody here who hasn't been letting anybody in, but they've been, this person's been watching. They've been watching. But they may have lost hope. This is lost hope. Fear may have been in the way. There may have been some healing that was needed as well. Lack of hope, lack of awareness, lack of faith. Somebody has felt like they don't, they're not enough. There's been some, I think there's been some uh, 
insecurities. There's some been some insecure insecurities that has held a person back from letting some, another person in, letting this other person in, they, their own insecurities, right? Somebody has been cheating themselves of a huge opportunity for the, you could call this, these two, the Ten of Pentacles, for extreme happiness, something solid, secure, you know, to build a new legacy, to build a new whatever, partnership. You know, somebody has been deceiving themselves, sabotaging their, the, the chance to, you know, build a stable, solid relationship with somebody because of their lack of, or their thoughts, and this is having a new perspective, their thought that they weren't good enough. Their thought that, you know, their own insecurities. But I think now somebody is ready for a fresh start. They're ready to start over. They're ready to take a risk. So I really feel like we have somebody here that is ready to put down the, the hurts and the pains of the past and they're ready to start over. They're ready for this fresh start. They're ready to fly. Start from scratch. I mean, that's what that is. So I feel like we have like a shift here. Somebody's getting some sort of revelation that it's time to move forward. It's time to take the reins. It's time to you know, make a move and start over after being discouraged, after letting their own insecurities hold them back, you know, the need to protect themselves. Whew. I feel like we definitely have forward movement. There could be some communication coming in. Um, some sort of truth may be revealed as to why um, this person was reluctant. Now there's an opportunity for a fresh start. This is a fresh start starting from scratch. And this is heading in a new direction. So we definitely have somebody that is deciding to start over and head in a new direction. They're deciding to take the reins to, you know, move forward. Somebody is replacing that, that no doubt. I'm going to replace this fear with faith and I'm going to start. I'm going to start this. I'm, I'm going to do it. So that's what I think. I think we have somebody that is about to start over on a new journey. And this is a brand new journey. Brand spanking new. So I feel like somebody has went through a period of discouragement. A period of insecurities. Now they've received some sort of revelation that it's time to open up. It's time to stop you know, suffering, it is, it's time to start, stop suffering, it's time to stop sabotaging your own happiness, this is an opportunity to build a solid, stable, you know, happy home with somebody, they may get the revelation that, you know, this is the, this is a chance, this is a, this is a really good chance for happiness, if they look at things from a new perspective, I feel like we, we have somebody here that has been you know, hindering their own wish fulfillment by sabotaging themselves, right? But now they're ready to start over. So I feel like we definitely have a fresh start here. I feel like somebody is, 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 is probably, they may decide to give somebody a chance. Maybe they were blocking this person. This is a blockage from coming in, but now it's like, okay, let's just give this a chance. This is a chance. So somebody may be deciding to give this independent, whatever this is, this is an independent person who's doing really, really well. I'm going to give this person a chance, even though I'm afraid. You know, I need to protect myself. I think that somebody's going to replace their fears. So that's what I see. It's like I'm going to master my emotions. I'm going to take the check, take the reins, and I'm starting over. So that's what it looks like to me. Somebody could even show up, okay? They could show up. This is a vehicle. It's a car. So somebody could show up. This is a call as well. So somebody could be making a call. Um, somebody could be receiving a call from somebody. Let's get let's get uh, something else. What are we gonna get? Somebody's been letting their fears get in the way. Okay, the devil is fu fueled by fear. It is. 
So somebody has definitely been letting their fears get in the way. But I think that's over. It does look like it's over because we have somebody that's ready to just do it and take this risk. Somebody's about to take a big, big, big risk and start a new chapter in their life, a new journey. Could lead to something really, really abundant. This person, the Nine of Pentacles, has a lot to offer. And it's like somebody has been cheating themselves of, you know, security because of their own insecurities and their own discouragement and their own lack of faith, whatever, their own inner conflict. So I feel like we have somebody here that may be communicating how they truly feel after blocking their emotions, blocking their feelings, stepping back for a minute. They may have stepped away from the scene to, you know, gather their thoughts. Um, hmm. Light. Imagine yourself as a being composed of energy and light because in reality, that's perfectly what you are. You are a powerful being and people are attracted to your brilliance. This is a time to remember how vibrant you truly are. Somebody is getting a wake-up call. It's like an awakening. Somebody's go they're getting some sort of epiphany that, you know, it's time to move forward. I got I got to read this card. Because this is, this is so good. Trust. While your logical mind is dictating a supposedly clear direction, your soul's inner guidance is urging you to follow an alternative path. The logical path may be one that you consider safe and more familiar, but you could be missing out on boundless opportunities and so much more. And this is what sums up the reading. Somebody has been missing out on a boundless opportunity. And I think they're about to see the light. You could get a call or somebody, you know, may come over or invite you or I don't know what this is. This is a vehicle. So, you know, I don't know what this is. But however it resonates with you. Let's get one of these for this situation. They may ask for forgiveness. Some because this is a card of forgiveness. I don't know. Here it is. <laughs> yeah. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, and that's where we're at. I'm going to end it right there. Oh, I can't. i got to show you what's on the bottom. I have to. It's safe for you to love, open your heart to give, and receive the highest energy of all. That is what this is about. Somebody's about to give love a chance. Good luck.